Alright, so this is going to be a video on uh, how to convert a feedback chart to a regular rock band developer chart. So the first thing we're going to do is you got to have Vegas because we have to convert the OGG files to a uh, MP3. So we have an OGG file here and all we're going to do is put it in here file render as mp3 name it and then you're done with that now open up reaper and you have to have the uh, rock band network plugin installed so you gotta get that and then uh, we're gonna open up reaper file project templates rock band network blank template so we're gonna look it's gonna look like this it may look confusing at first but don't worry you're gonna insert a media file first thing you're gonna do is uh, insert your mp3 I'm gonna use an OGG but you wanna use an mp3 um, if you're gonna put it on rock band so we're gonna do slash dot dash this is a chart by someone else uh, I don't know who it is but you can credit them so uh, you're gonna import the mp3 and it, it's gonna be your, whatever instrument it is you're gonna put it on that track so this is drums this is bass this is guitar and then you're gonna click um, oh wait no I'm sorry you gotta put that the the audio on the temporary on the beat or the audio track and then for the guitar or drums, that's where you put the, the mid file uh, with the notes. So before we put the mid file down, we're gonna change. We're gonna click the FX button right here. It's like green right there. We're gonna click Add and uh, a VSTI plugin, the Rock Band Network Preview right here. We're gonna add that. It's gonna open up the preview screen. Now uh, you have to enter the notes. Now it's gonna be easy. Just put it in notes. Uh, you don't want any of that. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, and you put that on drums. Okay, and then you have to make sure that you have to get the BPM of the song. That's another thing. Just find a BPM tool to find the BPM, and you'll get it. Mine is 110.01. So once you have the BPM, uh, you want to go to the start. Okay, once you have the BPM, you're gonna want to click around here somewhere to make sure that the start of the song is selected. Then insert time signature tempo change marker 110.01. Okay, now the chart should be ready. Uh, I just double clicked on the, the mid file to get this up. This is where you chart everything. And it should be ready. So here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to, when you open this, you have to change it to drums and you have to change it to expert. There you go. Alright, so you may have noticed that 
in the middle of doing all this, I already had the, the MIDI file um, ready from feedback, but when you make a chart from feedback, it puts it in a dot chart file. The way to, to convert it to a MIDI, a MIDI, whatever you want to call it, so you go into feedback, you make your chart, you have the chart file, now what do you do with that, you ask. Okay, so you have to download something called chart to mid you can google it, it'll come up pretty fast and uh... you, it'll, you open it up and then you get the ro this interface choose rock band find your chart file and then convert it and it's done it adds star power automatically, it adds face off sections and it adds the drum charts and everything and that's what you put into this from feedback. So once you have that ready, you have to do every instrument and every difficulty by the way, so you can't just like BS it. Once you do that, you save it and you open up Magma which comes with which which rock band uh it comes with the rock band downloads and you open up your uh, I mean you uh, make your information you do all this stuff all that make your difficulty whatever blah 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 and then you build it and you audition it you search for your xbox and then go into audition mode and have fun so yeah that's how you do it. Good luck.